A word from our non-sponsors, people, places, things. It's more than just fogs or pogs. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Or pee hogs. I don't I have no idea. But they have puppies. You can get it on Steam. Sure, there's a demo. Uh, we also like to highlight stuff that we like and they're not paying us. And hopefully one day they do. So guys, uh, who wants to start for this week? And I guess the last time for at least a month. Mm -hmm. I could do it. Alrighty. So, gentlemen, there's a bit uh, I guess I'll start. Oh. Um, or Charles, go ahead. That was a delay. Oh, there. no. Yeah. No, no. I, I mean, uh, si rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Because <laughs> I, I was like, damn, Andrew pulling out the big guns. Yeah, go he ahead. Got, go he, ahead. Got some, he got some ego going on because he made a better grab. I'm like, I'll fight you. No, it's all right. Um, so, gentlemen... <laughs> There's been times in my life where I, I think I've been in love, you know, or I've had love in my life. But recently I have fallen deeply in love with something that will always be by my side till death do his part to benefit me, to make sure I look as sharp as sharp can be when I go out, when I have to go to court, when I have to wear my dress shirts, because your boy has finally, and I don't know if it's the bad Papa Charles mustache I've developed, but something has happened to me because I went from having my cheap $9.99 iron that you get at Kmart and I upgraded to Amazon to a daddy iron. So my non-sponsor is Pure Steam Iron, P-U-R-S-T-E-A-M, and I got to tell you, 1,700 watts, really hot, like so hot, does a vertical steam, the best kind of vertical on my right, fellas, has a little bit of mist in there, anti caulk, anti kind of drip. Oh, it's the best kind of thing. You put so much water in there. I tried it yesterday for the first time. I got it the other day, like last week, but yesterday was the first time I really had to use it. You'll find it quicker on Amazon. I'll tell you that now because I probably butchered the name um, than you are in the regular. Oh, is that my baby? That's my girl right there, guys. <laughs> Look at her. She's heavy to hold, but when you lay her down, it Looks just smooths cool, out all the things. Guys, you know what? I I'm just saying it right now. Sometimes you just can't go for the bare bones. You know, that's the problem. Sometimes we get the bare bones things, whether we can afford it or not afford it. But I was trying to iron for the last almost year on my own account because I'm cheap and I want to save money. She does synthetic. She does cotton linens. She does uh, silk. You know, she feels heavy when you hold it, but when you lay her down, it just, it's, it's light. It just breezes through. It's more um, holes, other parts that come in there that really kind of steam out. So there's a part where I'm like steaming because, you know, I, I have some shirts that are a little wrinkly because, you know, I, I, I wash and then I, I do a little bit of a dry tumble just to actually get the shirt kind of dry. There's nothing I hate personally washing it and just hanging it immediately, um, you're still going to get wrinkles. And not just that, but you don't want to really automatically iron it anyway because then it's just going to still leave a production of wrinkliness even if you iron and just wait for it to dry. So you put a little bit of starch. But, you know, I, I have the instruction. I didn't even read the instruction. We were just connected. I knew this was my soulmate. My eyes kind of, like, fluttered out. And it was cheap enough for me, like 35 bucks. That's fine by me because, you know, now that I realize I was ironing more, I got to go past the Kmart iron that I had here. Um, it, it just treats me right. I feel, I feel, you know, you know, the movie as good as you get to Jack Nicholson's just going to, um, is it Holly Hunter? That's it. No, it's not Holly Hunter. It's a Helen Hunt. He goes, uh, is it Helen Hunt? I got to check back. It's been years. He goes, says, you make me want to be a better man. Yeah. That's what I feel with this. You make <laughs> me want to be a better man to not look like a unpresentable schlub. You know, I've been rocking the facial hair for like a month now. I went from being Amish to being looking like a revolutionary. But since I used this yesterday, she told me to be a man, shave the goatee, shave the bad mustache, go back to clean cut look because that's what you got to be as an ace because she makes me an ace. Pure Steam, I named her. Her name is Georgia because I always got Georgia on my mind. Okay. Um, I love it. I love it, man. It's so good. It's the little things, and it is going to be with me until she finally passes because, you know, I'm not going to go for the better new model series from now. She's going to be loyal to me. She might ride or die. She's my clean and steam, as we'll call her, and that will be my promo code, clean and steam. All right. Nice. Do, do you gentlemen dry clean or do you iron? Because if you need an iron, that, get yourself a Georgia. I have a personal steamer. Uh... I do have an iron that does the steaming too, so. Uh, but I dry clean for the suits, of course. But that, yeah. Uh, other than that, no, nah, 
uh, save a little money by doing it myself. And it's relaxing, too. I actually kind of like ironing my clothes. It, it is very therapeutic. Yeah, I find it to be very therapeutic. I like it. You know, I just put on, you know, I was watching some wrestling and I was doing it. Or if I have to watch some of my anime. Look, guys, just, just get it done. You know what to do. Andrew, get yourself this baby. That's your that's your bar passing grade because you're you're gonna be a, you're, you'll be a real boy now when you take this bar and stuff her. But you know you treat yourself, get yourself a pure steam. Okay, Andrew, since you were so eager to get in, I'll let you go second. If you're there, dude, is he there? Have um, I lost everybody? I mean, I hear you. Can you? Hear I me? think Andrew might be out. So Andrew, you might have to pop in and pop out again. Or pop out and then pop in. I think that's the way it works. Uh, because we've lost you. If yeah, I can't. All right. Well, up oh, and he is. Yeah, he is. He is popped out. So I guess I will go second. So, uh, well, Charles, it's just you and me, and I'll just say this. Uh, I've been sitting around like a lazy fool for quite a while now. Mm. Incredibly lazy. A koala or a sloth kind of lazy. <sighs> How, I mean, do, do slots normally go to sleep at 4 a.m. every night? I'm not even sure. I think that's more koala, buddy. Uh, um, I, it's one or the other. But either way, it has been absolutely horrible for me. Uh, I got sick recently, and it's it's not been good. But uh, I will I, I will give it up because I I had a cold uh, for the week, and I, I will give it up to. Uh, my guy, uh, it's gonna go to Night Quill. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yes. I can hear you now, my dude. Excellent. Welcome back. So Andrew Night Quill is my non-sponsor. Nice. All right. Uh, even though I took a generic brand, but w- we all know what Night Quill is, or at least the, the equivalent of it from the generic brand. And yes, that's that's what I I had the the, the gel caplets, and I guess you can see it here. Um, and, and, well, actually, this is acetaminophen, so, but either way, it knocks you out, and that's what I want most out of my medicines at night, is, will this thing knock me out, because I don't want to be up for this crap, and it did, it did the trick, you know, sometimes you don't feel like you're gonna get to sleep, like, you're, you're, you're tossing, you're turning, you're, you're sniffling, you're stuffed up, and your, your brain is running and you, oh, I should grab the phone and all, whatever. No, just calm down. Take a second and just let the medicine do its work because eventually you will be knocked out and you're off to La La Land. And that's what I did for me. And so I've, I've taken this for at least the last two or three nights. Uh, and it's gotten me through it. And I feel a lot better today. Now I think I'm finally getting over it. And yeah, it's thanks to... NyQuil or whatever the the real generic medical name for the medicine is. I have no idea what it is. There's stuff on the screen. You guys figure it out. Just find it. Just if you have a cold, whatever. All right, Drew Brees. He's 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 woke now. Drew Brees is woke, and he's a he's a he's endorsed by this, or he endorses it. So if you want to get woke like me and Drew Brees, go to sleep with NyQuil. <laughs> so uh, promo code. Woke Drew Breeze. All right, um, I'm gonna do a little a little bit of uh, segmentception here. Okay. Um, so it's gonna be a non-sponsor, but it's also going to be a shout out slash not quite a player we remember to forget. It's a player we remember to remember. Um, and that is going to be Major League free agent Irvin Santana. Ah, mm. yes. yes. Brand new front of the show. Th- that is true, and let me explain why. So just randomly out of the blue, uh, I get uh, notifications on my my phone whenever I Twitter notifications. You know, someone liked the tweet, someone retweeted, stuff like that. Um, I also get notifications of whenever people follow me. I get a notification that Irvin Santana follows me. And I kind of did a double take here because 
surely this is not the Irvin Santana who is a famous major league pitcher. But indeed, it was Irvin Santana, the famous major league pitcher. So I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Irvin Santana for following me on Twitter, which is pretty dang awesome. Uh, I hope my content the content has been decent so far. I hope you enjoy following me. Um, just to get a little bit of a background on Mr. Santana, he is currently a free agent. Last played for the White Sox last season. Has played for the Angels from 2005 to 2000, uh, 2012. The Royals in 2013. The Braves in 2014. The Twins from 2015 to 2018, and then as I mentioned, the White Sox in 2019. He's a two-time All-Star in 2008 and 2017. Pitched a no-hitter on July 27, 2011 as a member of the Angels. He was born Johan Santana, but decided to change his name to avoid uh, confusion with the other Johan Santana. Yes. Um, and decided to just come up with a completely different name. It's not like his middle name or whatever. He is married. His wife, Amy. Uh, they have a son, Jonathan, and a daughter, Sophia. Just a little bit of his uh, statistics. He has a career record of 149 and 127, an ERA of 4.09, and 1,926 strikeouts. So over a decent a decent numbers for a for a 14 year career. He's made money. That's for shizzle. Look at this. That 114 is, million, 112 million, sorry. That is indeed for shizzle. And you know, he's only 37. Um, you know, hopefully a team picks him up and you never know, he could play a few more seasons and, you know, hit the two the 2000 strikeout mark. Um you you never know. We'll see. But um, Mr. Mr. Santana, I appreciate your follow, um, and you know you are always welcome on the show if you want. Uh, you you are officially a friend of of the show. Uh, promo code Urban Santana. What what else can I say? All right, Urban Suburban. <laughs> Wasn't he famous for a lot of one-year contracts too? If memory serves me right, he was always kind of like you know uh, a a big end. If I remember his career, I know he's a free agent now, but pitchers they kind of come and go at a certain thing with the age. But I remember him always kind of getting those big one-year deals, like more astronomical than some of the other players. I mean, let's see. He's uh, as far he, as his he had two back-to-back one-year contracts. He played for the Royals for one season and then the Braves for one season. Mm-hmm. Um, so he had a couple of years where he had single-year single, single year contracts. Yeah, they were $13 million from $14 million. Yeah, that's a big amount of money for just yeah. a one-year deal for a pitcher. Yeah, for a pitcher. Uh, I mean, he was still in the middle of his prime, 30, 31 years, uh, making bank. So 